medical So this is the shelter we stayed at last night. I opted to stay here in the shelter. And that is my bag and where I slept. There were probably, um, what was it? One, two, three, four, five. I think there was only six on the top. There was lots of room. And again, below there was, it wasn't full, so. Anyways, so this morning we're just uh, still eating breakfast and we are going to head to the next shelter, which is like 7.7 .7 miles away, I think. So easy day, so we're just taking our time here this morning. So today we get to see uh, an old plane crash and there's another mountain I think that we climb and what was the third thing I said there was a plane crash oh and a yeah a helicopter pad so that's on the agenda today before we reach the next shelter and I believe there should be some thunderstorms tonight but just a short like a short one hour storm or something. So I might stay in my tent because last night there was a man snoring. It didn't bother me much, but it's nice to have your own space. Just come out of the woods into this, across the ridge. Weather today is supposed to reach 68 degrees, so. I'm hoping that it's going to get any hotter than that. But yeah, it's going to be a warm one. I'm already warm and sweaty. So I'm hoping that we stay on this side of the mountain where most of the shade is and drink lots of water. So we missed the airplane crash. It's back a ways. We were in a rush and missed it, so we are not turning back to go see that. Continue on our way. Do you see those steps? Oh, there's one there, and there's a couple there. They keep going up and up. They are my worst nightmare, but I also appreciate them. So they're there to keep the trail from eroding, which I'm thankful for. However, they are super hard on your knees. Um, I mean, we've gone over thousands of them <laughs> at this point. Every time you come to one, you kind of grunt and step down over it, but it, they're not fun.
another example of why we took some zeros in those storms. Big winds and lots of rain toppled a lot of trees. But this is the trail now. We were supposed to go on top of that. Now we go under it. You see that? We've got a fir tree growing on a firewood. Right on top. So cool. It is 76 degrees and I see the shelter. Oh, thank God. I am warm. The sign is worn off, but this is the Cosby Knob shelter. to the shelter had something to eat now I'm back in my tent oh, I've got my tens machine on my feet um, <clears throat> trying to rejuvenate them for tomorrow I believe we have a 10.5 mile day to get into um, town I think we need to um, uh, we're gonna go through Davenport Gap and then we'll have to walk to standing there to pick up a couple of our boxes that we had um, sent there so and then I have no idea where we're going or what we're doing. Um, that's all up in the air. I haven't talked to Luke and Phil yet, but uh, I will keep you posted when I find out. Have a good night.